Hello again. A number of people have recently been asking me how I produce these videos of hand play which seem to be being played on Bridgebase Online. Well, the good news is that the software to do this is all entirely free and all you need to do is to first of all create a free account on Bridgebase Online, which I've done here. And this will allow you to enter any hand and replay it, as I do on the video. And also you'll be able to use hand records from a bridge website, such as Pinna Bridge Club. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do all that. So the first thing is create an account. Here I've already created my account. I'm going to log in and it comes up with this uh, screen here. Now, it's a little bit hard to find what you need to, uh, to do this, but you need to go to account here and then select deal archive. And I'm going to create a new folder uh, for this. So I'm going to create a folder called uh, we'll, we'll call it untitled folder, we'll call it 11111, so it comes up first, and let's just uh, hit return there, and there is my uh, folder there, so there's nothing in there at the moment, um, so what I'm going to do is click on import a lin file, now lin is a particular format of hands that's used as far as I can tell, just by BridgeBase Online. And fortunately, um, BridgeWebs will allow you to export hands in that format. So what you do is you go to a particular um, set of results you want to look at again, click on hands, and we're going to um, export the file or download the file as a LIN format. And I think what you need to do is specify lin there in the bottom and then download as lin okay and it will come up with this screen saying it's downloading i'm going to click on this to say show in folder so i know where it's um uh, where it's put it which is uh, that one there and then i'm going to switch back to bridge base online and i'm going to import that file so it says choose file there it is in my downloads folder and I'm going to say open and then click on import and there we go it says it's successfully imported uh, the 20 games into the folder so I'm now going to close that here okay and then I'm going to go over here to hand editor which is where I'm going to be able to edit the file um, and what I'm going to do is, um, sorry, down here, open the folder, that one I just created, so I just double-clicked on that, and it's come up with the, with the boards that I can select from. So let's select board one, and here is the, uh, here is the hand, okay? So, um, it has copied in the, uh, the hand, it has not remembered does not record the um, the bidding sequence if that was there. So I'm going to have to enter that uh, myself. Okay. So let's actually go back to the uh, travelers there. And um, this is the hand, hand one. And what did I suggest? One club, one heart, two clubs, three hearts. All right. Let's enter the same bidding sequence there. We're going to say um, play. And it says enter the bidding sequence and play. So we'll put in one club, then one heart, two clubs, and then three hearts. And we're going to pass. Okay, so there it's come up with the um, bidding sequence in there. And now I'm going to be able to play the hand in whichever way I want um, and save that. Uh, and later display it on the screen. Um, one other thing you can do here, well, a few other things you can do, you can um, show double dummy, which puts little um, uh, numbers there to show what the best 
plays at any point. This is actually telling me that um, we can defeat the contract if we lead a minor suit here, whereas if we lead a major suit, declarer will make three hearts. So we'll make the normal lead because we um, bid clubs, didn't we? So let's suppose we play clubs there. Suppose the opponents start off with the first uh, two clubs. Yeah, okay, you wouldn't really play that, would you? You'd, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's play uh, two clubs. And then it's saying you should shift to a diamond. So let's play a diamond. More signals encouragement. Declara takes that one. And if you look at this from Declara's point of view, he's got a number of diamond losers now. But what he's hoping to do is, after drawing trumps, maybe discard them on the spades. So let's suppose Declara starts by uh, drawing trumps. You can either click here, or I think you can click down here if you prefer. It all uh, does the same thing. So let's play the uh, five there, and the four there. Declara now draws another trump, maybe the uh, queen. Over to the yeah, let's say throwing away a club and maybe a last trump. Okay, so now all the trumps have gone, and now Declare is hoping to play the spades and maybe um, discard some diamonds. But when you play the spade, North will probably go straight up with the ace on this one because he knows there's some diamonds to cash. Okay, play another diamond. Uh, let's win the jack and the eight. Okay, and um, what now? Well, if he plays another diamond, so let's click here slightly easier. Declarer can rough that one, and now Declarer is going to make the rest of the tricks. You can actually claim here, say how many tricks you claim, and they've accepted the claim of eight tricks. Okay, so now I've added that play sequence onto the bidding sequence, and um, I can do a couple of things. If I click on export here, I can save the deal either to the same uh, file. Uh, or as a, a different deal. Let's go to a different deal. We'll select it as some um, untitled deal. So it's like, let's call it mod one. And we'll save it there. Okay. Uh, so I think that saved that one there. Another thing I can do is um, export it as a hand viewer link. And what that does is it comes up with this um, URL, Universal Resource Locator, I think it stands for. And it's a, an abbreviated form so that I can click on that. Um, I can, um, sorry, if I click on that, it will come up with the, um, uh, with the link that I use to send out here. Or I can right click in it and I can say, um, copy the link address. Okay, um, so that that's the link I send out to um, people to allow to replay the hand, and that contains everything in there. So they can now just use the next button to replay following the recommended line of play. Okay, so you can um, go through the exact same sequence. Um, if you're doing it here and you want to check on the best line, you click instead on the GIB button at any point, which tells you uh, what the recommended line is or whether it will mean, lead to over tricks, under tricks, or just making the contract. Um, so, so that's how you uh, how you can use this software. Um, you can also use it just to enter your own hand. So. Here, you can just click on Hand Editor, 
And rather than import the file, um, you can just enter a hand that you thought was interesting and uh, put in the, the different um, uh, cards for each player. You can do this other thing, which is a shuffle cards. It really means um, fill them at random. And that's what it's done here. So now we're going to press, uh, oh, it wants us to enter. If we press play, it will first of all say, who do you want to be the dealer? So maybe we'll select South here and we'll put in a possible uh, bidding sequence. Maybe South might open uh, two spades there. Pass, who knows, pass, maybe three hearts. Pass. Um, and maybe uh, four hearts, sounds possible. Okay, and that's the um, that's the final contract, four hearts by East. And then we're going to um, replay this. We can again bring up this show double dummy uh, sequence, and that's saying um, that uh, you're probably not going to make it. Whatever you, uh, whatever is led. I think you can see Declare is in danger of losing three diamonds and a club. So you probably won't make that. Um, but you again would just click on click on these uh, cards, either up here or down there. And then you'd be able to uh, to save the save the um, lower sequence. So um, I hope that's proved useful. Um, again, you don't have to go all the way to the end. You can just export and uh, export the hand viewer link. And then we can like uh, copy the link address, create a new, go to a new page and we can paste, uh, paste that in. And it's a, it expands into the full hand there. So, um, so that's how I create these hands. And um, if you want to do them uh, yourself, and, uh, and practice replaying hands that you've come across, uh, you can do the same thing too. So I hope you found that useful.